Hi, my name is David Sloan and welcome back to the Cameraman Lectures. This is Lecture 12, addressing Cameraman Episodes 41 and 42. In these episodes of Friend in Need and First Flight of Fancy, we learn that Chad and Cherry Kittles are the two secret members of the team that developed the palacrum with Kevin Dane with Omar Alashik. Kevin goes to his old college buddy after his escape from Dora Mountain because it was Chad who first suggested to Kevin the idea of involution theory, a theory that Kevin instantly recognize, recognizes in Omar's uh, far out ideas. With Chad's knowledge and with Cherry's electromechanical uh, prowess, combined with Kevin's money and resources and Omer's genius, the four, as a team, are able to build the first palacrum in Kevin's old warehouse in Roanoke. The four of them are the true Wright brothers of time travel. If they were the Beatles, Kevin would be Paul McCartney, Omer would be John Lennon, Chad would be George Harrison, holding them steady on the bass, and Cherry would be Ringo, making sure everything worked together. And by the way, if you haven't seen the documentary Get Back, particularly the scene where Paul is sitting there writing uh, Get Back in real time, that is exactly the type of thing that could give you a glimpse of what the cameraman could bring to the fore if he really existed. Anyway, uh, so in these episodes, we discover that this band is not a happy group. As you could imagine, Chad and Cherry who are a very reserved uh, pair um, who were living very stable and quiet lives at the time as professors are not entirely at ease with adopting the volatile Kevin and Omer and bring, uh, into the secret venture, uh, especially as they come to understand the true gravity of what they can accomplish together and what the palacrum really represents. For their part, Kevin is not having fun as Omer's uh, lone keeper and Omer hates being on earth and with being any humans. So this team is uh, rarely in a good mood, uh, separate or together. Anyone who has ever opened their home to a wayward or quirky relative or a friend might know a little bit about what these characters are going through. The day they first test the palacrum, Kevin is sitting with Lou Scaparelli getting drunk and wondering about his future and the power of this new device. And here we learn about the name Scaparelli the astronomer credited with ident identifying canals on Mars uh, and basically launching the modern idea of Martians and aliens uh, based on these geological features that uh, uh, he first didn't recognize and then were mistranslated over time. And Kevin uses this example to dwell on the danger of observations and public misinterpretation of them and the perverse and ridiculous interests of people who would want to use the past for their own purposes. It's these ideas that influence Kevin and his thinking about how to use the palacrum in a way that will keep the technology out of the hands of others, especially Lacey, but also out of the hands of everyone else. And you can judge whether or not Kevin was ultimately right to take the track that he did, which was to become the anonymous cameraman. One more key detail in their story is the code word mackerel. And this goes back a few episodes. Uh, this code name has a long, long history between these two, and it becomes a word, it, and it was at first a word that signaled an explosion. It was a, a fail-safe to be used for rapid escapes. But that later evolved to become a taunt for when they sabotage each other. And when either of them use it, it's never, ever good. So keep an eye on that uh, for that to pop, again later, pop up again later. Uh, in these two... In the last two episodes of the season, which we're coming up on, we're going to go back and we're going to find out how all of these decisions being made by Kevin and Lacey uh, to this point, their involvement with Chad and Cherry and, and all the other things that they've been doing, uh, led to their meeting with Milo. And we're going to find out the truth of, of exactly what happened uh, to them. So keep your eyes open because you never know what you're going to see. <laughs> 